Good morning, friends. Today I would like to discuss some problems on D Alembert's ratio test. How we can recognize the test is suitable on these problems means the method or the series can be expressed in either x and individual terms. That is in a arithmetic progression way. In that we can use the D Alembert's ratio test. Why? Because we can take nth term and n plus one the terms. And in that we can take the ratios means the similar terms and similar powers are there but one number is increases. In such case we are using the D Alembert's ratio test. Here I am taking two problems. Test the convergence of the series. The first one is x by 1 into 2 plus x square by 2 into 3 plus x cube by 3 into 4 plus so on. In the second one. 1 by 2 root 1 plus x squared by 3 root 2 plus x power 4 by 4 into root 3 plus x power 6 by 5 into root 4. In this no nth terms are given. Okay. First we can find out the nth terms in that given relation. Here take x is same. Just you observe the powers 1, 2, 3. So this is start with x power n. And here also, if these are in AP series, <coughs> 1, 2, 3 means that is nothing but N. Next, start with 2, 3, 4 means it is nothing but N plus 1. If it is 1, then it becomes 2, then X power is also 1. So, this is the nth term for the first problem. Next, in the second problem, we can check 1 is nothing but here X power 0. Okay? The term starts with 0 that is x power 2n and here here 2n of 2n and if under root of suppose 1, 2, 3 means here we can take suppose n here 1 means here x power 0 starts with 0 we can take here, if n is equal to 1, 2 into n minus 1. So, we take n equal to 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, it's 2 into 0. If it is 2 means 2 minus 1, that is 1. We get the next. 3 means 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 to the 4. We are getting the next terms. This n means here, the outside term is n plus 1. Here, nth term is x power 2 into n minus 1 by n plus 1 into root n. Or, we can take x power 2n by n plus 2 into root n plus 1. That is our wish. Okay? Why? Because we start with 0 there. Here, we start with 1 only. You can take any way. Plus 1. Now I am taking the first problem that is sigma un is equal to sigma x power n by n into n plus 1 that is equal to x by 1 into 2 plus x square by 2 into 3 plus x cube by 3 into 4 plus so on plus x power n by n into n plus 1 plus so on. Okay? Here un is equal to x power n by n into n plus 1. un plus 1 is equal to x power n plus 1 by <coughs> n plus 1 into n plus 1 plus 1 that is n plus 2. <coughs> Find out the ratio un by un plus 1 that is equal to x power n by n into n plus 1 by x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 into n plus 2. This is equal to x power n by n into n plus 1 into n plus 1 into n plus 2 by x power n plus 1. n plus 1, n plus 1 get cancelled. x power n in the second factor taking common n that is 1 plus 2 by n. In the denominator n into x power n plus 1 can be written as x power n into x. x power n, x power n cancel, n and n cancel. 
this is equal to 1 plus 2 by n by x that is simply 1 plus 2 by n into 1 by x okay now applying the limits limit n tends to infinity u n by u n plus 1 equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 2 by n into 1 by x apply the limits that is 1 plus 0 into 1 by x this is 1 by x this is equal to l by d alambert's ratio test by d alambert's ratio test if limit n tends to infinity u n by u n plus 1 is equal to l the first case if l is greater than 1 sigma u n is convergent second case if L is less than 1, sigma u n is divergent. Third one, if L equal to 1, the test fails to decide the nature of the convergence or divergence. Okay? Here, L equal to 1 by x. So, by the D Alambert's ratio test, 1 by x is greater than 1 means x is less than 1 sigma u n is convergent if 1 by x is less than 1 means 1 is less than x that is x is greater than 1 sigma u n is divergent if 1 by x equal to 1 means for x equal to 1 the test fails to decide nature of the series. Okay, this is the first problem solution. The second problem is The second problem is sigma u n is equal to sigma x power 2 into n minus 1 by n plus 1 into root n that is equal to 1 by 2 root 1 plus x squared by 3 root 2 plus x power 4 by 4 root 3 plus so on. Okay? It is also positive term series by observing the series expressions. Here u n is equal to x power 2 into n minus 1 by n plus 1 into root n. The u n plus 1 is equal to x power 2 into in the place of n plus 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 plus 1 under root of n plus 1. <coughs> plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled is equal to x power 2n by n plus 2 into under root of n plus 1. Next to taking the ratio un by un plus 1 is equal to x power 2n minus 2 by n plus 1 into root n by x power 2n by n plus 2 into root n plus 1. A by B by C by D equal to A D by B C. That is X power 2N minus 2 by root 
n plus 1 into root n into n plus 2 into root n plus 1 by x power 2n. It is equal to x power 2n into x power minus 2 in the first factor n common 1 plus 2 by n in the second factor root n common under root of 1 plus 1 by n by in the denominator 1 common 1 plus 1 by n root n into x power 2n. This x power 2n, x power 2n cancel and here n, n cancel, root n, root n cancel. This is equal to under root of 1 plus 2 by n into under root of 1 plus 1 by n by 1 plus 1 by n into 1 by x squared. Okay. Now applying the limits. Limit n tends to infinity un by un plus 1 equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 2 by n into under root of 1 plus 1 by n by 1 plus 1 by n into 1 by x squared. It is clearly 1 plus 0, this is 0, it is 0, this is 0. 1 into root 1 is 1 by 1, that is 1, it is 1 by x squared, this is the L value. Okay? By D Alembert's ratio test, limit n tends to infinity un by un plus 1 equal to L. If L is greater than 1, sigma un is convergent. If L is less than 1, sigma un is divergent. If L equal to 1, the test fails. So here L is means if first case 1 by x squared is greater than 1, then sigma un is convergent. The second case, 1 by x squared is less than 1, sigma un is divergent. If third one, 1 by x squared equal to 1, the test fails to decide the nature of the convergence. Okay? This is the procedure how we can find out the test of the convergence of the given series. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share to your friends.